Hey again, everyone. Uh, this is grade four, module one, lesson four, problem set. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is try and read and write multi-digit numbers using um, the base 10 numerals, number names, and be able to uh, you know, transfer these numbers into what we call expanded form as well. So let's hop into it with number one A saying on the place value chart below, label the units and represent uh, the number, and I'm not going to go ahead, I'm not going to read this number just yet. The first thing we need to do is go through and label our uh, place value chart, starting with the ones place. After our ones is our tens. We have our hundreds. And just as good practice, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to throw this comma in because that's what we looked at in lesson three. And the comma goes in between this next largest place value, which is the thousands, and that hundreds place. So our thousands. After that, here's our ten thousands. This is our hundred thousands. And again, here's three place values, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. I'm going to put another comma. And this is going to be our millions place value. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to sort these digits into their respective place values. So that three is in the ones place. So that goes here. This two is in the tens place. So that goes there. Five in the hundreds. That's going to go there. Zero thousands. I'm still going to write it in there. Because I can't just ignore it. Because if I were to just say, oh, there's zero and ignore it, then the nine would actually shift over to the thousands and we would change the number, which we don't want to do. And this nine is in the ten thousandths place. So it says write this number in what we call word form. Now, the way that I always like to explain how to write a number in word form is I always say start with three digits at a time. Look at the digits in between your commas first. So we're going to start looking here, and we're just going to read this number as is. This is the number 90. Then when you get to this comma, what you want to do is you want to say the name of this period, which is called the thousands, and you're going to write that. So that's 90, comma tells me to write the number or the word 1,000, 90,000. And then I just look at these next three digits together, and I would just read them as I normally would if it was just these three digits standing you know, by themselves to make 523. So 90,520. And the number in expanded form. So I'm actually going to show this in two different ways. Okay. The first way I'm going to do it is using multiplication. And I'm going to take the digit and multiply it by its place value. So this 9 is in the 10,000s place. So I could write this as 9 times 10,000, I'm going to put that in parentheses, plus, now I have a zero times my thousand, so I really don't need to write anything because zero times a thousand is going to be a whole bunch of nothing. So I'm going to go to my next smallest place value. So five in the hundreds place would be five times 100 plus Two in the tens would be two times ten plus, and then three in the ones place would be three times one. I've seen this done both ways, so I want to make sure that I model it in both ways. Now, the next way is is probably just saying, oh, nine in the ten thousands. I'm just going to put nine ten thousands to make ninety thousand. Well, ninety thousand is 9 times 10,000. So I'm really saying the same exact thing. Plus, I have no thousands. So again, don't need to worry about that. 5 in the hundreds. Again, 5 times 100 would be 500. Plus, 2 in the tens makes 20. Plus, 
three in the ones makes three. So I really just like showing it both ways. I would say that both ways, um, you know, are correct and can be shown uh, in expanded form. Number two says on the place value chart, label the units and represent this number. So very similar exercise to the one before it. I go ahead and label my place value chart ones, tens. This is the hundreds. Again, here's where a comma would go. Good practice. Thousands. Ten thousands. Hundred thousands. Again, one, two, three place values. Here's where a comma would go. And this is my millions. So again, I'm just going to take these digits, put them in their respective place values. Three goes in my ones place. I use dots this time instead of just putting the digits in there. No tens. Don't need to worry about that. Two hundreds. Five thousands. Again, kind of using that comma as my reference point just to make sure that everything is uh, lined up appropriately. No ten thousands and nine hundred thousands. Now I need to go about writing this number in word form. So again, I'm going to take a look at, you know, this up here. And three digits at a time between the commas. So 905 would be 905. Nine hundred five. Now I come across that comma. That comma is an indicator that I need to write out the name of this period here, which is the thousands, to make nine hundred five thousand. Comma. I'm going to underline that just to show that you know sort of that's where that comma goes. And then I'm going to take a look at the next three digits. These three over here, two zero three, makes two hundred. No tens, so I would just say 200, 3. That's what that number would look like in word form. And letter C tells me to write the number in expanded form. Again, I'll do it both ways. Okay, taking the digit, multiplying it by the place value that it's in. So this would be 9 times in the hundred thousands place. So 9 times 100,000 plus... No ten thousands, don't need to worry about that. Come over to my thousands place. I have the digit five multiplied by the place value it's in, which is the thousands place. Plus two, the digit two in the hundreds, so two times one hundred. Plus no tens, so I'm just going to do three times one. And to sort of simplify that and write it in a different version of expanded form, 9 times 100,000 is 900,000. Plus 5 times 1,000 would be 5,000. Plus 2 times 100 would be 200. Plus, and 3 times 1, and that should really be in parentheses, is 3. So that's those two numbers in sort of like this unit form here with the place value chart, word form, and then over into expanded form. This is probably more of what, um, you know, you're going to see where really what we want to be able to do or we want what we want students to be able to do is take any number in any form and be able to convert it to the other forms. So if I'm starting in word form, if I really understand this concept, I should be able to go from word form to standard form or word form into expanded form and vice versa, really in any which way. So I'm going to start with word form. And if I'm going from word form, I'm going to go to a standard form first, then I'll go over to expanded form. So when I have a number in word form, I want to hunt for this word right here, thousand. Because if you remember when we were converting from standard to word form, that 
word thousand told me where that comma should go. So two is going to come first. Then I see that word thousand that tells me to put that comma. The two thousand. Now I just need to look at what this number would look like. 480. So four in the hundreds place, 80 tells me there's an eight in the tens place and I need to make sure I put that zero. Now in expanded form, I would have 2,000 plus 4 in the hundreds is 400, plus 8 in the tens makes 80. And I don't need to worry about the ones because there are none. Now I have expanded form, and I need to convert to standard and word form. So I'm going to go from expanded. And I'm going to go to standard form first, then word form. It really doesn't matter which one you want to go to first. I think taking expanded to standard and then seeing the number as you would normally see it in standard form is going to help you to generate it into word form. So 20,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 2. So I notice I have a 10,000 and there's no thousands here. So that would make 2 in the 10,000s, which is 20,000. No thousands, but I still need to have that zero there. Four in the hundreds place, 80 is eight tens, and two in the ones is um, two ones to make this number. Now it's easier for me to read and put into word form. Again, take it just a few digits at a time. So that number 20 is really in the thousands period. So I'm going to write 20. And here's that comma. So that tells me to write out the word thousand. 20,400 82. Same deal down here. Word form, I'm going to go to standard form first, then over into expanded form. So, 64, and again, there's that word thousand. I should be on the lookout for that because that's going to help me place my comma. 106. So really, this is going to go on one side of the comma. This is going to go on the other side of the comma. So 64,000 would look like this. 64, there's my comma for the word thousand. 106. So one in the hundreds place. No tens here. I don't see the number like 20, 30, 40, 90 written here, okay? That doesn't say 60, that just says six. So that tells me that there's no tens and six ones. So 64,106. Now I'll move over into expanded form. So six in the 10 thousands place makes 60,000 plus 4,000 plus 100 plus no 10, so I don't need to worry about anything, plus 6. Now I have these numbers in standard form. So I could really do either which one of these first. So for this first example, I'll do word form first, then do expanded form. And for the second example, I'll do expanded form, then do word form. So if I'm going in word form, I'm going to take it three digits at a time between the commas. So I'm just worried about 604 first. That number, as I would read it just as is, would be 604. Then I have that comma. And that comma tells me to write the word 1,000. So 604,000. Now I just need to worry about these next three digits. Zero hundreds, so I don't need to write the word hundred at all. I just need to write what one and six is, and that's the number 16. 604,016. And then expanded form, 600,000. Six in the hundred thousands place makes 600,000. Plus, no 10,000, so I can move directly over to 4,000. Plus, I don't have any hundreds, so I can move to the tens. I just have 110, which is 10. 
plus six ones. That's your number in expanded form. And last but certainly not least, let's go ahead and do this guy here. And I said I would do this in expanded form first. So nine in the hundred thousands makes 900,000 plus six in the ten thousands makes 60,000 plus no thousands, no hundreds, but I do have six tens, so plus 60. And that's how I would write that number in expanded form. Now let's transition back over to word form. Again, three digits at a time. 960 is the number 960. There's that comma that tells me to write out the word thousand. And no hundreds, but just six tens is the number 60. So I actually have to write the word 60 twice, but that's okay. 960,000, 60. That's how I would write that number in word form. Okay? Last but certainly not least, we have number four. It says black rhinos are endangered with only 4,400 left in the world. Timothy read that number as 4,400. That's exactly how I just read it. His father reads the number as 4,400. Who read the number correctly? Use pictures, numbers, or words to explain your answer. Technically, they're both correct here, okay? If we were looking at it in terms of strictly, like, you know, academically, I would say that 4,400 is the proper way to read that. So Timothy reading it as 4,400, that's perfectly fine. And I would say more reasonable. The way his father reads it as 4,400 is kind of more like, I would say almost like slang, where people do read it like that sometimes, um, because 4,400 is the same as 44 hundreds. If I had a place value chart, and I guess this is part of using, you know, pictures, where I have, you know, hundreds, tens, and ones are over here, and I just focus in on the thousands and the ten thousands. If I have 44 thousands, I'm sorry, not thousands. I goofed. Let's actually focus in on the hundreds. Here's where that comma would go. And again, tens and ones are over here, which I'm not really concerned about. But anyway, if I had 44 in my hundreds place, I know that when I have 10 of a smaller place value that equals one of a larger place value. So really I would have like four tens here that I could regroup over here as four thousands. And that would make that 4,400 like, you know, Timothy said, but his dad could also read it as 4,400. So they're both correct. Because 44 hundreds is equal to four thousands and four hundreds. They show the exact same amount.